enjoy this video, and remember to always stay positive. Buck, do I really have to go to school? Yes, you need to go to school so you can earn. Now get to the car this instant. Your mother is already waiting for you. No, I am not going to school, and that's the end of it. And you can't do anything to make me go to school. Listen up, you better get to school right now, or else it would be punishment time. Do you really want that to happen to you? Uh, fine, I'll go to stupid school, and just so you know, I'm not going to like it. Good, that's what I thought, and also I don't care. You need to go to school, whether you like it or not. Good morning class, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that we will be having another assembly tomorrow, and let's all hope that it doesn't go bad like how it did last time when we had an assembly a few months ago, and now that that's out of the way, let's get on to the studying. Later. Oh, that's the school bell, that means it's time for recess. Okay class, you all have 70 minutes of recess, and here are the rules of recess. No pushing, no yelling, no fighting, no arguing, no bullying, no escaping school while you're at recess, no hiding in recess after recess is over so you can keep playing there, and finally, no making any messes. Now that we covered all of the rules, let's form in a single file line, so we can go outside. Somebody, please put me out of my misery, please. Hey girls, I have some cool jokes for you. What do you call a pig that loves karate? A pork chop. Wow Rocco, that is so funny. Tell us another one. Okay, what do you call a robot eating another robot? Mechanibalism. Ha 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 ha, get it? It's funny because robots are mechanical, and if you take out the M and the E in the word mechanical, it sounds like the word cannibal, and since he might keep telling jokes for a while, let's just skip that part. Several bad puns later. <laughs> Rocco, your jokes are the funniest ones ever. I agree with Rachel. You should definitely tell more jokes like these more often. Man, those jokes Rocco said are so fucking cringe. I think I just lost a few brain cells when hearing those jokes. What should I do to stop the big fat man from telling his stupid jokes? I know, I am going to do a classic, I am going to summon the animals to attack Rocco, that will sure stop him from telling his stupid jokes. Ugh, what do you want Pablo? Oh, nothing, I just wanted to say. Oh 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 Rocco, how dare you exist, that's it. For your punishment, I will summon the animals to attack you. By the power of yond logic, I summon the animals to attack this man with the blue shirt, green pants, navy blue shoes, black hair, and black skin. Animals, beat the crap out of this chocolate man. Ow 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 My body hurts so bad. Yeah 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 yeah. I summoned the animals to attack Rocco. Wait, did I just hear you say that you summoned the animals to attack Rocco? Wait, um, no, I didn't say anything. I was being as quiet as a mouse. You're just hallucinating. Oh yeah. Then let's ask him what happened, and see who the real crazy one is. Oh my god, Rocco, are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay based on my injuries, messed up hair and clothes, and my reaction? No, Pablo just summoned the animals to attack me. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it, come on everybody, let's start yelling at him. Oh 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 oh. Pablo the stupid spoiled Mexican brat, how dare you get the animals to attack Rocco, now his entire body is covered in bruises, scars, 
scratches, and sprains thanks to you. Not only that, you even caused him to get his hair and clothes messed up, and the animals even ate both of his shoes. That's it, I now hate you even more. I agree with Abigail. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Me six. Me seven. Me eight. CGPA Little Bill is not my number three most hated person anymore. You are my new number three most hated person instead of him, because even though he stalked and sexually harassed me one year ago, at least he didn't got a bunch of freaking animals to attack my boyfriend causing him to almost die. So you are now my number three most hated person, with Cyan being my number two most hated person and Trip being my number one most hated person. Yeah. I agree with everyone, Pablo, I have just had enough of you doing bad things repeatedly to other people. First, you kept on causing mayhem at summer school, second, you ruined tons of Norris Moore's family members' birthdays, and only now, you got the animals to attack Rocco. Come on Valentina, Sage, Abigail, Vincent, Kingsley, and Nova, let's go report this straight to Miss Morton. Hey. What about us? I am Rocco's girlfriend, Rachel is Rocco's sister, and Samantha is Rocco's friend. What do we have to do about this? You, Rachel or Samantha, should call an ambulance to take Rocco to the hospital. Come on everybody but Samantha, Veronica, and Rachel, let's go tell this to Miss Morning right this instant. Pablo, you won't get away with this. Right behind you Nova. Trip and CGPA little Bill, stop it, there is nothing funny about what Pablo did to Rocco. Now stop laughing right now. No, we are not going to stop laughing, because he totally deserved it for being Veronica's boyfriend and not letting me date her. Yeah, Rocco deserved it for being a total nerd. Alright, that's it, for laughing at Rocco's injuries, and saying that he deserved it, you two will be in trouble as well. Now stay here until I get to the principal's office. Hey Miss Morton, we need to talk, now. Miss Morton. As Valentina and I were playing catch with a basketball, while Nova was reading a book, while Trip and CGPA Little Bill were having a conversation, and while Sage, Abigail, Vincent, and Kingsley were meditating, Pablo decided to go all crazy and summon the animals to attack Rocco, and not only that, but he even called him a chocolate man, which is racist towards black people. Wait a minute, let me get this straight, Osiris and Valentina. You guys were having catch with a basketball when you saw Pablo summoning the animals to attack Rocco, right? Right. And Nova, when you saw Pablo summoning the animals to attack Rocco, you were reading your book, right? Right. And Sage, Abigail, Vincent, and Kingsley, when you also saw Pablo summoning the animals to attack Rocco, you guys were on the swings meditating, right? Right. right. And also... Osiris and Valentina were by the swing sets playing a game of catch with a basketball. Miss Morton, do something about it. Pablo needs to be suspended or expelled for this. Heck, we can even press charges on him for what happened. Oh yeah, we should definitely press charges on him for this. But I don't think jail would be necessary for this. But the best thing we could do is put him on house arrest instead. And I will certainly report him straight to my office. <coughs> Attention, I need Pablo in my office. Repeat, I need Pablo in my office. Thank you. Pablo, I'm going to need you to take a seat. Pablo, these students here all told me that you were responsible for summoning the animals to attack Rocco during recess. Is this true? Did you summon the animals to attack Rocco? I need answers, right now. What? No, I did not summon the animals to attack Rocco, I don't know who did that, I was in the bathroom this whole time. Yes you know Pablo, and it was you that summoned the animals to attack Rocco, you were the one who was responsible for this, you weren't in the bathroom. Tell us the truth Pablo, or else you're seriously going to regret it. Calm down everyone, Pablo, you better tell us who summoned the animals to attack Rocco, was it you? Tell us right now, or else there will be even bigger consequences. Okay, fine, you win, you caught me, I admit it, yes, I was the one who summoned the animals to attack Rocco, why, it's because he won't stop telling his lame old jokes during recess, and also it's because I despise that person so much. Oh my goodness, Pablo, I can't believe you summoned the animals to attack Rocco, 
just because Rocco was telling unfunny jokes, does not give you the right to act violent towards him, you could have just ignored his jokes, or just don't do anything for this situation, and violence is just something that we have zero tolerance for in this school or anywhere else, not only that. You even insulted and offended him by calling him a chocolate man, that is so racist, that's it, you're expelled, and not only that, but I will also call the police to press charges on you and put you on house arrest. Go home right now, I will be calling your parents to notify them about what you did today during recess. Miss Morton, I have some even more bad news, when Pablo summoned the animals to attack Rocco. Trip and CGPA Little Bill were laughing when he did that, and they even said that Rocco deserved it, and Trip even called Rocco the N-word, which is even more racist than calling him a chocolate man. Really? Wow, just wow, unbelievable. These people just don't know when to stop. Trip and CGPA Little Bill, my office, now. Trip and CGPA Little Bill, Rachel said that you two were laughing when Pablo summoned the animals to attack Rocco, is this true? Tell us the truth, right this instant. Fine, yes, we did laugh at Rocco getting attacked by the animals, why, it's because we hate him, so that's why we were laughing at him, because we were proud that he finally got his karma for treating us badly. Well, that's no excuse to do that, and have you two got cotton in your ears or something? He didn't treat you badly. You two were the ones who were treating him badly, and you do know that laughing at someone getting hurt is so heartless, and that's no excuse to do that, so CGPA little Bill, you are suspended for a week, but Trip, for calling Rocco the N-word, you are suspended for two weeks. What? That's not fair. Why does CGPA little Bill get to have a shorter suspension than me? Because if you didn't call Rocco the offensive word, you would have gotten a shorter suspension as CGPA little Bill, and plus, Life isn't fair, now get out of our sights. He did what? Oh my god, don't worry Miss Morton, Pablo will be so grounded for a long period of time, thank you for telling us, bye. Oh my freaking god, Pablo, your mother and I can't believe you got expelled from school and put on house arrest for summoning the animals to attack Rodko, and Miss Morton even said that he is now going to the hospital to have a doctor heal him from his injuries, how dare you, how freaking dare you, not only that, but we also have to pay the fine for his medical bills of $5,000, and you even called him a chocolate man, that is so racist. What kind of child are you for doing those brutal things to an innocent man? Why? Why? Just why? You are a fucking psychopath. But dad. No, enough of your excuses Pablo. Me and your mother are sick and tired of you doing bad stuff all around town. You pulled the fire alarm at school. You became proud of Pecchio for destroying the get ground and trigger studio building. And you insulted your older sister. You are nothing but a selfish, messed up, spoiled little brat, who always just likes to cause mayhem everywhere. But dad, Abigail called me a Mexican bitch, so why isn't she getting in trouble? Well, that's because you deserve to be called that name for all the bad stuff you did, especially for what you did today. This is absolutely unacceptable, violent, and abusive. Your father is right, Pablo, you are so grounded, grounded, grounded for 17 million dice, strike to your runner one the principal sent me anime and tell me that you have to wait and apologize to your rock for what you need, did to him to resist to die. Like your mother said, go to your room now and write the apology letter to Rodko, we want to see it by tonight. Wow 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 God, you can't believe we have to pay the 5,000 dollars for never cause of this nonsense, when is this stupidness going to stop for once in your life? Don't worry, I'll handle this, you get some rest while I take care of a few things. Alright, now it's time to call the animal control, so they can take care of those animals that Pablo summoned, and take them to a zoo. Meanwhile... I can't believe I got expelled from school and put on house arrest for assaulting Rocco, now my entire life is ruined, wah 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 wah. Actually, you know what? Forget this stupid house arrest, I need to do something to get my payback on all of these people, but what should I do? Ooh, I know, I will form a gang, like how in the Arthur show, 
there is a group called the tough customers, I will make a group just like that, but instead of a group, it's a gang, and I will call it, the ultra troublemakers, or the L troublemakers, yes, it's foolproof, and if we form into a gang, we will become unstoppable, ha 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 Later that night. Thanks for choosing the L troublemakers, goodbye and good night. Alright, now that I got people to join my gang, I can now get some shut eye. Finally, I got revived by the storm, and I can't believe I got executed by the non-troublemakers on New Year's Day, well thank god I got revived. So, what am I going to do tomorrow? Oh yeah, I guess I am going to be joining back to troublemaking days, I should be returned, I may have missed a lot of days to do bad stuff on, but this time, I am returned. <laughs>